Welcome to another episode of Hard Lessons with Demel Hanna. I'm your host, Demel Hanna. Uh, in the joint, you know, my first, my first couple months, uh, you know, as I got acquainted with certain individuals that had, uh, you know, pos positions of power within an organization. Because I always say positions of power because when you're in a position of authority, you're in a position of power. You know, you got power. You know, when you can tell somebody to do what to do and when to do it, that's power. So, you know, I've gotten acquainted with pretty much everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, either I shook their hand I have some awareness of them. Uh, they start teaching us. You know, it wasn't a lot of us. It was a few of us. They was teaching us how to hit a, how to hit somebody. You know, it was a guy, one of the homies, little bitty guy. You know, but he was he was he was deadly. He was deadly. Uh, he drew. I remember he he drew a a a, a human anatomy. And, you know, this shit was like mind boggling. I was like 19, shit. He drew the human anatomy and he pointed out every death point. Like stab him there, stab him there, stab him there. Like he pointed out every death point. You know what I mean? And uh, shit. <laughs> you know, I studied that shit. I did, I studied that shit because he would ask us, when we would go to the wreck, he'd be like, what's this? You know, can you, if you hit him here, you know what I'm saying? If you hit him there, you know, and it's, this anybody, this officer, this uh, inmate, this, he, he was teaching us how to kill. You know what I'm saying? For real. Uh, that shit was, that shit was mandatory when I came to the, to the joint. You know, you had to know how to protect yourself, man, because some guys might come at your ass with some knives, two, three, Guys, what you gonna do? What you just gonna lay down and let them kill you? You know what I'm saying? Hell no, not me. I'm gonna fight for mine. So I took that shit serious. You know what I'm saying? The guy, whatever the fuck information he had to offer, I was listening. You know what I'm saying? I ain't become a fucking uh, a master or nothing, you know, but I was aware. You know, I was aware. And that's, that's all you can really ask for in life, especially in prison. You know what I mean? So... He knew I was, I was serious about protecting myself, you know, because, you know, a few of the a few of the meetings that he held on the yard, which is where most meetings be in whatever organization or at some type of religious service or maybe at school, child hall, uh, but the yard is always better because you're able to probably get the whole cell house in one space together or at the religious services. Uh, child hall, not so. They only put, like, back in the days, they only used to put two galleries in the child hall together. You might get lucky and get three galleries. You might get lucky, but really two. Uh, so, you know, every time I seen them on the yard, I would ask them. I'd be like, man, Joe, I was looking at this. And they were saying, you know, if you hit them here, you know, they, they more likely to, to, to bleed out faster. You know, shit like that. Uh, he'd be like, yeah, that mom, he was a fucking, fucking martial artist, man. The dude knew, he knew how, he knew mixed martial arts. He was a little bitty motherfucker, humble as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? He'd kill your fucking ass with his bare hands. There was a few old timers around there like that in every organization. That's why the shit was serious. You know, that's why this shit can get very deadly. It could get very bloody. You feel me? You know what I mean? So, uh, uh. You know, yeah, you know, that was, that was, you know, learning how to hit someone was, was, it was like class. This shit was like going to class. You know what I'm saying? Because dude, uh, I think he knew like this, this little motherfucker here, he's serious. Like I, 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 I didn't want to accept that I was going to be there, but I wasn't going to be stupid and shit and act like, you know, not, me not being there wasn't a reality. So shit, he offered those 
those classes or that opportunity to learn shit. I was, I was fuck that. I was, I was going to the yard anyway. Only thing you had to do was just walk over there. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude was like, he was a master, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he'd be on the yard and shit. I'm on the yard. I'm over here playing. I knew he wanted us, the organization, but he would teach anybody, really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he would teach anybody. You know, so, uh, man, I would walk over there, man. What up, G? He'd be like, what up, what up, little wax? I'd be like, what's going on, man? He'd be like, oh, okay, what's happening? You know, and then he'd get back to doing whatever demonstration he was doing. And, uh, you know, he might call you to ask you, do you know this? Or he might demonstrate, you know what I'm saying? This little motherfucker, he was a fucking master, though. He was, you know, and he wasn't one of the best in the joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, Man, this is the penitentiary. This ain't no fucking juvenile shit, man. This is Stateville, Joe. Y'all ever go watch a documentary on Stateville, man, about Richard Speck. You know, when he released the fucking video and shit. You know what I'm saying? And made it to the fucking White House, which is the White House, you know. And President Clinton made remarks about a video that had surfaced, that had, you know, a, that, that was recorded inside of Stateville Correctional Penitentiary. You know what I mean? I mean, these motherfuckers was in the cell with kilos of cocaine and shit on the fucking, on, on, on the damn table, man. I'm not bullshitting you. You know what I mean? This Stateville, man. It's high stakes, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't play no games. You get your ass taken out. <gasps> you know, so. This shit ain't no joke. You know, it, it, it ain't no joke. I'm very, I'm approaching this shit with, with, with caution and seriousness. You know what I mean? For real. So, uh, you know, I would attend those sessions, those meetings, those gatherings, you know, that anybody would hold. You know, Colonel Bill, you know, taught me a couple things. You know what I'm saying? And that dude's a legendary Blackstone, man. I mean, that dude's a fucking legendary Blackstone, man. Colonel Bill. Listen to the name. His name is Colonel Bill. I'm not bullshitting you, man. You know, anybody that's been inside of Illinois prisons within the last 40 years, they have heard about Colonel Bill. It's certain people, I'm going to say their name because they need recognition. Colonel Bill, you know what I mean? Uh, he, taught, he, taught, he taught me a few things. He taught me the most, the, <laughs> the most valuable thing he, he taught me was you can't play with everybody. Everybody don't play on everything. I think I said something to him one time. And he was like, on the gallery, I was playing. I was, I was, I was playing. And I think I said something to him on the gallery. He was on one, I was on three in D house. And he said, okay, okay then. And one of his guys came up there and said something to me. Like, man, Joe, like, man, you. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at it as disrespect. I don't know what the fuck I said. It probably was some fucking immature shit. But Colonel Bill approached me in the uh in the child hall. This motherfucker like, oh, this motherfucker was like six, eight, six, nine, man. This nigga was a fucking ninja, man. He was one of the most notorious motherfuckers throughout Illinois prisons, the last motherfucker since the 80s. One of them. Not, not the most, but one of them. You know, you know, he, he, this dude, the fuck, you know, if you, if you ain't sending no, it, and, and if you got to send some murderers at him, man. You know, because he go disarm them, take it from this motherfucker. It's a fucking killer, man. You know, but uh, he walked up to me. He said the exact words. He said, what's up? What's up, sir? <laughs> I said, what's up? What's going on? I don't know if the motherfucker asked me for some water. I, I, I keep, I'm picturing this in my head. I don't know. But I remember giving him my water bottle. I think he asked me for some water. <laughs> this shit was goofy as hell. Or maybe not then, but I remember. Maybe not then. I don't know, but he was a gangster, man. He was a killer. But he like, uh, this is what he said though. He like, 
Yeah. Yeah. And he looked at me. I forgot what the fuck he said, but he looked at me. He said something before he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he looked at me. And I looked at him, and he was like, and I, I remember him taking a sip of the water and shit. But he was like, he said these words, and this shit stuck with me. I ain't play with his ass no more. He said, uh, I'm a one-man army. <laughs> and I believe him. I believe him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't play. Whatever the fuck I did that day, I never did it again. Or whatever the fuck I did to warn him to tell me he was a one-man army, I never did it again. <laughs> Seriously. I promise you. Uh, but uh, that motherfucker was deadly, man. He killed your fucking ass with his bare hands, man. He take the knife from you, man. Stick it up your ass. That motherfucker was a killer, man. This, 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 this ain't no motherfucking. You know, like I be watching as I talk more. I, I, I don't be watching. I watched it a few times. I think for research, the jail shows that they show like on Annie. I don't think only probably a few of them could survive Cook County. Cause it, it ain't no pod, boss, man. No, no, motherfucker. Ain't nobody on the on the deck so tough that he run the deck. Hell no, nah, I wasn't. I ain't never experienced no shit like that, man. Ever. I don't know. That shit might go in other states. Shit don't fly here. <laughs> shit don't fly here, man. I've never experienced no shit like that, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. You know what I'm saying? So that motherfucker Colonel Bill, man, was a killer, man. You know what I'm saying? But he was fair. He was smart. But that nigga was a fucking, he was brilliant. But he'll murder your fucking ass, too. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm still learning, man. I ain't, I'm still in the same damn year. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably a few months in. I'm learning like a motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? Shit, these motherfuckers around here kill us, man. For real. This ain't no fucking nigga. This, this, and this, this is different levels to this killer shit. You know, you got a motherfucker, he, he off the street, he got a double murder. Okay, he shot some motherfuckers. Fuck that. These motherfuckers did that. Now they been in the joint killing motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, this is a different level of killer shit here, man. For real. This ain't no fucking joke. You know, so shit. I ain't trying to be no motherfucking mass murderer, man. I ain't trying to catch up with these motherfuckers. But I ain't finna let no motherfucker kill me either. So, I'm learning. I'm learning from these real motherfucking, these motherfuckers, these seasoned motherfuckers is serious, man. You know, it ain't about being no tough guy, ain't about being no chump. It's about getting up out of here. That's what it's about, you feel me? So, uh, man, I'm learning, man. I'm learning. Colonel Bill taught me, he taught me that. Don't play with him. That's what he taught me that. Uh, he told me some other shit, too. You know what I mean? This motherfucker had so much motherfucking... He has so much freedom in the, in the jail that that dude can do what the fuck he want to, man. When he want to leave out the child hole, he leave out, man. Open the door. You know what I mean? So I learned, man, I learned a lot from him. A, a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot. But, you know, I'm still learning, man. You know what I'm saying? Around this time, I think I'm getting the grooming and shit. You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm learning how to hit motherfuckers. You know, I ain't hit nobody yet. I'm learning how to hit motherfuckers, though.